guys, welcome back. So, uh, some more EM1 content, I guess, since I don't have anything else to do. So, I screwed up on an order. So, I ordered a oil feed kit, so I thought, from Go Auto Works. And then I ordered a, just various fittings from Summit. Like, uh, two hose ends, a pretty big thing of canyon hose, a 45, I think two 45s, I guess. Vibrant T3 drain fitting. And two of these uh, one half NPT to 12 amp. These fittings, which I use the screws out of this one and have the auto works on right now. That way, this one can stay in the package. Bruh. And then it comes with the exact same swivels. The other one that had this is the vibrant one. The other one is on the engine right now. So I have pretty much everything to build lines or multiple lines. So I'm going to grab the feed kit for now. Oh, also, I have this uh, weld-in bung, which I don't need because I have a one-half inch bung welded into the pan. And then I can switch AN sizes if I want to. But I also have multiple of these gaskets now, which I'm not going to use that yet because uh, this ain't a final setup. And I'll be sure to put a gasket on that fitting and actually tighten up when everything's permanently done. The plan right now is to mock everything up without thread tape or anything not waste anything and then disassemble and uh, you know put it on once there's a confirmed way to do this so I'm gonna grab some stuff I'm gonna go ahead and do it, try to get the feed on now and then after the feed I'll decide how I'm gonna do the drain in the garage here B16 and eBay Manny precision 5831 with the little CX racing pipe on it so I think this is basically how the turbo is gonna stay only thing I don't know is which way it will necessarily be clocked due to the fact of um, where this pipe's going to sit and you know me not wanting to have to cut it or anything which I can always cut the center section out to shorten it so I don't know but I got spare line just in case I have to make it longer so I'm going to go ahead and try to mock up feed line for now and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this drain. I just watched the video and um, to see what fittings go where and then I figured out okay. So these two are not restrictors. So these are an oil line that will go on this side and one on this side. So the threads on this are not the same. One is BPT and one is NPT. The block is a BPT I'm pretty sure. So this is going to thread in the back of the block where the factory sending unit was. And then the T, this end of the T, will then need to go into that adapter. And then that leaves you the back for your factory oil pressure sending unit. And then the front for this fitting and the straight of the oil line. So, if I come over here to my block, this is my oil sending unit. Yep, this is the part where you can roast me in the comments. I'm going to have to look that up real quick because I don't remember which one was the knock. I'm pretty sure that's knock. And that's wool. But yeah, definitely because knock always has an actual plug. Anyways, so we're going to take this out and then we're going to screw in that fitting. And then um, uh, we'll get to work. So I'm going to get a wrench and uh, get the sending unit out real quick. So my sending unit's out and try to clean it up just a little bit with a uh, wire brush. So it looked like crap. So it's going to thread into here, and then like I said, this fitting is going to go in here. Um, like I'll say it again, this is for mock-up purposes. This end needs thread tape on it. You can see the hole here. Spins right in with ease, because it's BSPT. If you try to put an NPT, that would have been rather rough. So with the adapter in there, next, the T. Take the T. Bend it in. Like I said, this end would be thread taped. Uh, doing this by hand. It's just getting a little tight. You know, over tighten that either. Just another area where thread tape comes in. But anyways, there that is. Sending unit would go in the back. Plugs in just like normal. And then, have these. It's got these little caps on them. 
I said there's two of these, both are exactly the same. Thread it in, I said, again, thread tape. Right on the top there, and then you would snug that up, pop that off. And then the straight end, go right on there, make sure that's not cross-threaded. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand or not. Yeah. So now which side I'm gonna run this on, I don't know. So I am gonna be running timing covers. Um, here we're gonna have my exhaust, it's gonna be coming by the manifold. So definitely think running it outside the timing cover is gonna be a little better. And it'll be something like that. They make some kits. If you want to run just this on top, you can get a bolt thing. Um, I don't know why, maybe that's for, they use the same center section in a ball bearing, just the bearings inside are different, I'm not sure. Regardless, the only thing we need is this, to have a little bit of thread tape. Spin that in there. Make sure that's straight. So that all this is hand tight right now, it's coming back out. And then, ideally that would swivel, but it don't. Um, I think I am gonna go around this side even with the hot side, maybe wrap this in something. So that, that's just ridiculously too long. Yeah. Definitely running it that way. And then I'll do some brackets off of, um, we'll have a VTEC solenoid here. It's not gonna be able to do anything. Thermostat housing here, D Dizzy here. Um, yeah, I'll have to get creative with that. I'm not really sure yet, but as you can tell, it definitely doesn't look ridiculously long wrapped around that way so that's definitely the way that that's going to go for sure all three lines on i did decide to wrap it around this direction um as far as this thing goes as you can tell i didn't have any wrenches big enough to uh, go ahead and tighten it down but basically the angle it was going to be at was um very less than ideal so this manifold's coming off I have another manifold ordered. Ordered a 1320 ram form, which is going to center the turbo a little more. And let me know, which is going to move this pipe on past the drain, which is going to make, hopefully, it should, because if it's right here, it be I think it will give us a lot better angle from what I've seen. So, um, yeah, that should take care of that. And then, um, I don't think I have any parts on order right now other than the manifold. The next video will be the manifold install. And then after that, uh, I'll get some third tape and we'll start mocking stuff up. And I also want the manifold installed. Um, it'll probably be time to uh, start actually finishing the assembly in the engine. I'll probably uh, send the head off and uh, start getting that knocked out so we can get this thing in there this summer. And get actually get timing covers on, belts on, um, thread tape around these fittings in the whole nine yards. So uh, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned and I'm out.